Hi, my name is Kate Hargreaves and I am pleased to be here to read you some of the cozier poems from my recently released second book of poetry, Tend, which was put out by Book Hug Press in October of 2022. So I hope you'll enjoy them. I'm going to start with the title poem, Tend. We tend toward moot, curl into dim morning, set bird song to snooze, Ears plugged against purrs, press mint from a tube, a cult of warm mugs, fridge hums, bran spills, I sip, you brew. This next poem was written for one of my cats, Wynne, and it's called The Hawk is Implied Risk. A hawk is implied risk when you're a cat in the yard, with the nerve to paw the kitchen tile beside your bowl. The ocean whitefish and tuna dinner subpar, pushing past the gapping screen door with grand plans of escape from the armchair and choice of quiet nooks that restrain you from your call to catch an evisceration of small animals, crickets and those bugs that glow, taunting you nightly through the paw marked glass, gnawing and discarding green tomatoes in the weeds, discounting the fleet of your claws, your needle teeth limited to couch shredding and occasional blood. Ears flicking to follow every rustle and creak without corner cobwebs, a lone black spider to trace for hours, now just leaves and wires and sky. Any dark speck at risk of a swoop, some creature you've never known but feel only as a tingle in the scruff of your neck, outside just too open, every thermal a threat. So you, you with the teeth, claws trimmed monthly for treats, hunger under a folding chair, jump at the twitch of a grasshopper and plan to gut any squirrel that approaches. This poem's called A Ritual. She boils the kettle, rolling water, searches cupboards for mugs, decries our lack of proper milk, we'll bring her own next time, for now it's oat. An orange pico family name on every box, draws a zipper bag from her purse, she brings her own tea, scorns the dregs of loose leaf. Crutches against the front window, teeth marking their grips. She tosses treats for shadows to chase. Sweeps the kitchen, hangs the broom, combs hair idly through fingers, scans movie titles by row. Hasn't slept right in days, hates to drive and park in the city in the dark. Won't let me wash the mugs, checks the time, checks the phone. I want to make her tea with proper milk, wash the dishes, drive her car, collect her after visiting hours, circle her in salt. What remains? Crumbs, shreds of Kleenex, a damp match. Pull off my wool socks inside out, drag the lint from between my toes. Spread peanut butter on a few crackers, brew Earl Grey. Rainwater rests on the windowsill, splits flakes of wood stain. Snails down the wall, books of damp faces, fingertip wrinkles, curls. Age seven, bowl cut, age nine, dinosaur t-shirt, age 11 or 12, August, perhaps June. My face was red, burnt mid-afternoon by the looks of the shadows. I knock over my steaming mug, thin, milky brown, seeps under plastic pages, lifts. And I'll finish with a poem called The Herb Garret. In pelting, sop-footed rain on the south bank, belly warm with jackfruit and espresso, I held the rope railing and climbed stairs that were ladders to bundles of crisp nettle and ground poppy heads, hanging over glass cases of forceps and rusty urethral sounds, dusty stuffed caimans, and floors creaking through sawdust under boards to soak up all the blood. That must, the nose remembers, returns as I trim and bundle the last of the lavender, knee straining against titanium and October damp, tie with rough twine to tug myself back to that garret, choose a suitably moldy rafter, unencumbered with wire, wires or bits of bikes, and wait for the luck to dry. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed these poems from Tent.